Hi everybody, it's Diana. Remember um, a while back on my blog I showed you this card and it was um, the card I did for my um, downline, their Flix card that they earned. Um, it's also a swap that I got from Robin Merriman and I altered it very, very slightly um, and she's very talented. And I can't remember if on her original one um, it had this or not, but this is what I want to show you. And it gives the card almost like a um, porcelain or I'm not even sure what to call it, but it looks like almost like a plate kind of thing. But anyway, that's what I want to show you because I had a lot of people asking me how it was done. So what you're going to need is what I used for this card was I used a crumb cake ink pad and a piece of Whisper White cardstock. You're also going to need a brayer, and that's a rubber brayer. And did you know that you want to, when you're not using the brayer, you want to either hang it, it's got a handy little hole, you want to hang it with the wall here, okay? You don't, or you can rest it. I mean, you can lay it down like that. You don't want to store it like this. And you know why? Because what will happen, if you don't use it for a while, the rubber will start to settle, and you'll get like a flat edge. So it's kind of like if you have an old car sitting in your yard and um, you don't use it for a while, the tire will get, you know, kind of low. So it's the same kind of thing. And then you'll have this flat edge on one of the sides of your brayer. So you want to prevent that. So I just have a little hook in my cabinet and I just hang all my brayers. Like I said, the back of the wall is like this so that the plastic is touching the wall. All right. Well, I was, that wasn't originally what I was going to talk about, but... I just threw that in there, so that's an extra little tip for you today. All right, you're also going to need a um, embossing folder, and this one is a vintage wallpaper, which is one of my favorite. And you're also going to need your big shot, your multi-purpose platform, and then two of your clear pads. So let's start. I'm going to open up the crumb cake pad, obviously, and you are going to apply the ink with the brayer. See how it says um, stamping up on the front? You want to apply it to the inside of the front. Okay? So here's the front. You're going to apply it to the inside. Not this side. This side. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to ink up my brayer. And you don't have to be super fancy. And you don't have to try to, you know, get it on the whole thing. I like it to be just kind of rugged looking. So that's all I'm doing. Just quick, quick, quick. All right, now let me move this out of the way so I can pull my big shot over. I drag this puppy over here. All right, now you're going to put a clear plate. This is going here. So you have your clear plate. You're going to take your cardstock and you're going to place it here. Now I lay it on this side without the ink. That way you can adjust it because there's no ink on it. Then you're just going to lay this over. Then you're going to put it on your big shot. Make sure you've got your score or your folded edge going into the machine first. Then I'm going to put this on here. And I'll move this a little bit so you can see better. So like I showed you the other day, you're going to give it a push just till it catches a little bit. And then you're going to crank it. Crank, crank, crank. Now this was on tab one. And I'll show you what I mean when I take it out. Okay, tab one is what I put that on. Now let's see what it is. Take that out. And when you take it out, look how gorgeous that is. And hopefully you can see it. And it just gives... Um, I don't know, it looks like a porcelain plate is what I keep thinking it is. But anyway, that's how you do it. And for this card, we just did a um, smaller piece. And then we just glued it. And then there's cardstock here that just covers where it splits so you don't see it. Um, but hopefully that was a little something you didn't know. If you didn't know, well, there will recap. If you have any questions, there's my blog address. Um, give me a shout. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon.